Hey everybody, what is up? It's your boy, Wes Gardner, Kamida Hobo himself of the new Kamida Hobo Entertainment. Cheap plug right there. And Happy New Year! Happy 2019! It's the beginning of a new year. Fresh starts. Just think of all the cool stuff. Oh! Oh wait, wait, I seem to have dressed up a little fancy. Not only is it a new year, but it's my birthday month. Here, let me, let me make sure. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, beautiful. So it's my birthday month. I'm going to be 33 years young. And what better way to celebrate an upcoming birthday than a new box from Video Games Monthly, man? And this one's heavy. Heavy. If you don't know what Video Games Monthly is, you should. Please go over to videogamesmonthly.com. Sign up for your box. You can pick how many games you want, what systems you want. They got stuff from back to Atari all the way up to like PS3, Wii U. I know they've added um, just amazing stuff. I've had great luck with the service. We have some bona fide classics and gems. You can send them a wish list. They have a library that you can see if you have duplicates on it. So I do highly recommend the service if you're into video game collecting at all. Um, of course, they're not going to send you the stuff worth like $10,000 or maybe we're about to find out. <laughs> but it's a great way to build a library if you just want to get some classic games in your belt, like go down memory lane a little bit. It's perfect, man. It's so good. But anyways, I'll stop yapping what I'll do. We'll get in here. We'll take a look at what systems we got games for. We'll talk about the games and show a price chart at the end, uh, kind of a comparison on how much they're worth versus how much I spent. And we're going to see if it's a good value. But yeah, I love the service. That's enough of me blabbing. Let's get to it. Our boy Floyd has waited long enough. Let's go. All right, we got the packaging off right there. And there's our boy Floyd. Just greeting us. Look at him. So handsome, so dapper. We get five games between ten systems. So I'm going to put those systems up right now because I cannot remember. That's the thing about getting older, kids. You're going to forget things. And I forgot it too, but hey, we have these nice pretty graphics here. That's what you're going to see. So it's going to be between these 10 systems of what I may get in this, the birthday box, the new year box. I'm excited. Let's dig in. I do get the five game box and that does cost me $39.99 US dollars and some change. So after tax, it's like 44. Um, but we'll take a look at the games. Then I'll go see what the prices are. Then we'll compare it, talk about them, show you some footage. Good to go. But without further ado, I'm going to open up facing this way. That way I cannot see what the games are until we reveal it together. Cool, so it's all blocked right here. Let's see what we have as far as cards. <gasps> oh, snap. Congratulations, you're the proud owner of this month's partner pack. Signed by the crew, I'm gonna hang this up. This is my first partner pack. I got a, uh, let's see, before I've gotten the, the prank pack with all the NSYNC games, Mary-Kate and Ashley games, which is hilarious. Partner pack. Now I have no clue what's going to be in here. Like, I don't anyway, but now it's, it's hand picked. A partner's pack is hand picked by the team. They pick top tier stuff. I'm stoked, man. Facebook, go follow them on Facebook. They do giveaways and stuff like that. Very cool. And of course, the card saying, hey, be sure to update your library. Um, that way we don't send you duplicates. Oh, partner's pack. Oh, boy. So thank you for that birthday gift, by the way, guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Floyd does it again. But let's see. So the first game is a regular Nintendo game for the partner pack. And that is going to be, <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, the gold Zelda cart. Oh. It's so good. It's so good. Like, that, that's, that's a childhood right here. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. It's all reflective. Oh, man. That is great. Just starting off, swinging for the fences. These partner packs, man. I've, I've seen people unbox them before, and I'm like constantly blown away by them. That's game number one. Let's take a look at game number two, which is a Nintendo 64 game. Okay, okay. And that is going to be, ooh, hey now, Flying Dragon. Not a lot of people know about this game. Very, very good. Kind of rare, Natsumi, look at that right there. Oh, that beautiful Natsumi logo, I love it, love it. Oh man, what a great first N64 game though. Holy crap, man, that's awesome. Okay, 
game number two. Game number three. Oh, wait, first we got another little, hey, we got another little bracelet. True story. I wear mine all the time. My original one. So now I got a double right here. Perfect. Okay, cool. Fantastic, man. All sorts of gifts in this one. Good lord. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Game number three is a sealed PlayStation 1 or Dreamcast. Because it's a double jewel case. Oh, oh, so it is the Final Fantasy Anthology. I believe now I have the full Final Fantasy PlayStation 1 collection. Pretty positive. There's Origins 9. I have 8, 7. Is that all of them? Is this all? Maybe. Oh, that's still sealed. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Let me, let me, let me get it. Oh, yeah. You see that seam right there? Mm-hmm. You bet. I think my Chrono Cross is still sealed as well. So, big ups. To, we still have two more games left. We still have two games left. Crazy. So, are they both GameCube games? They're both like big long boxes, so either Wii U or GameCube. Um, so the first one is going to be, heck yeah, man. The Sonic Mega Collection. This is a great collection. Fantastic. It has Sonic 1, 2, 3, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, and Sonic and & Knuckles. That is awesome. That is a good one. I mean, no book, but I don't care, man. That is a great disc. This is actually kind of tricky to find, I believe. Um, I mean, what's not to love about old school Sonic? Man? I still need to pick up Sonic Mania, by the way. And the last game of this partner pack, which has been... They've sent me a lot of good stuff, but like, on the whole, collectively, this might be the best box we have ever had. So the last one, I think it's a GameCube game, is going to be... <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Oh, man. Oh, with the new storylines. Oh, an all-new Yu-Gi-Oh! challenge. I know my autofocus is off, but three limited edition official game cards inside. Yeah, they did come with the game cards. I was about to say, they. there is no way. Um, but any Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm really bad at it. Really bad at it. I even have a series called Wes's Card Corner, so you can go see how bad I am at uh, digital card games. And the real card games. Speaking of, let me see. Let me see some real quick. Do I have a... Yeah, yeah. I have an unopened Yu-Gi-Oh! pack right here. It didn't come in this box, of course. But, like, I'm just... I got the love. Got the love for those card games. You know what I'm saying? But that is... Oh, oh, wait. One more thing. Oh, a Mario pencil. Look at that. Mario. It's got... There's Tone. And Peach. Yeah. There's Luigi. And then, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi's the best. I'm just going to come out and say it. Yoshi's the best one. You can fight me. I'm going to win because Yoshi's the best. Whew. Okay. Look at this box, man. <laughs> so if I were to pick a favorite. Oh, God. You're going to make me pick a favorite. Oh, it's probably between these two. I mean... I might have to give it to Gold Cart Zelda because as good as Final Fantasy 6 and 5 are, which they are, if you haven't played them, good lord, go do yourself a favor, get it however you can, play these games. The load times on the PS1, kind of iffy, if I remember right. Like the menus, you'd hit the button and go to the menu. But like the fact that this is sealed is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, do a price check real quick. We're going to come back. You're going to see some game footage. We're going to talk about these. But huge thanks to the crew at Video Games Monthly for the partner pack. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure doing these videos. I love it. First partner pack, guys. Nailed it. Hit it out of the park. Uh, but I'm going to do this price check. We'll be right back with the total. And let's talk about these games. Be right back.
All righty, guys, we are back. We got the prices. Great box. <laughs> I mean, a partner's pack, man. You can't really go wrong with a partner's pack because they're hand-picked. It's like the mwah, chef's kiss of selections. You know what I mean? So first one we're going to talk about is Flying Dragon for the Nintendo 64. For the cart only, this bad boy is going for $14.99 for just the cart. Pretty good. Pretty good for that one. But it's a great game. A lot of fun. Um, I, I'm. It's been so long since I played it, but I'm looking forward to going back in, diving back in, you know, doing some of that there martial arts. Next up on the list on the GameCube is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, False Bound Kingdom. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! games. <laughs> uh, so, False Bound Kingdom. So, what I do, if this is your first time watching, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Um, but what I usually do is if we get a game in a box with the art but no book, what I do is I take the loose price, and then I take the complete and box price, I add the two together, and then I average it. Because we don't have a loose game. It came with a box, but it's not complete in box. So I just kind of split the difference there. So uh, for the loose price for this is $6.97. The complete price would be $9.58, which brings our average total and the total price that we will use to $8.28 for Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom on Nintendo GameCube. Coming up next, the second GameCube doozy, the Sonic Mega Collection. Uh, same rule applies, so it's not quite complete, but it does come in the box, it does have the art. Um, so we take the two prices, split it, average, you know, good stuff. So Sonic Mega Collection, and really, if I wanted to be really funny about it, I could add up the set, the cost of seven of the these seven games and see what that is. But I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> just know this is a really good value. So the loose price for this one is coming in at five dollars and sixty six cents. The complete price is coming in at seven dollars and forty six cents, bringing the average price and the price we will use to six dollars and fifty six cents for Sonic. Just a great collection. Seven games. I even have the cartridges for these games. I don't care. This is a great set. It's so good. So good. All right. And then, ooh, gold. Gold, gold, gold. So, before we say anything, so the gold cart is actually the most common cart of The Legend of Zelda. It's the flashiest looking. It's cool. But it's, it's, uh, it's not the gray cart which I believe is the most rare. It's either the gray cart or the five screw on the back. And you can always tell, they call them three or five screw, and you can probably guess why. This is a three screw gold cart. I don't even think they made, did they make a gold cart with a five screw? Someone who's more into the actual collecting archiving side will probably know. Uh, but I do know that the gray cart's actually rarer. It's more rare to find it. But even said, this Nintendo regular Nintendo game, Common regular Nintendo game, by the way, for gold cart comes in at sixteen dollars and ninety cents. God, just for the one. Oh man, mm. sixteen dollars ninety cents. That was that was that's the humdinger this month. I'll tell you, but no slouch for our last game. Final Fantasy Anthology New. But there's two listings. There's a standard black label, which is worth more, of course. But then Greatest Hits. Some people don't like on the Greatest Hits. I don't mind it. I think, hey, the game is the game. It plays the same. Like, sure, the disc might look different. And, you know, you have the green bar. But I know, like, the Immortal John Hancock has uh, two sets, right? He has the full Greatest Hits set, which is nuts. And then, like, the standard black bar, I think. Amazing, right? But, like, okay. Coming with Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI. Brand new, sealed, Greatest Hits Edition, $14.50. They're just such good games, man. I love Final Fantasy. I love turn-based combat. I love the story stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just great. But this brings our grand total for the Partner Pack January Birthday Edition Extravaganza of Video Games Monthly. 
to $61.23. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy. That's the highest value box we've ever got. Just monetarily. And to me, it's not even about the money, you know, because you want to get about what you spend. But hey, they send the games to you. You get to open it. It's a big surprise. A lot of fun. But they crushed it, man, by a sell of like $15, $16. Basically, they gave me the box and then they just threw in a Legend of Zelda cart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nuts. Nuts. Unbelievable. Okay. But that, that's it for me. I, I have a lot of games to play now, you know? I got a lot of games to play. Um, that's it for me. Uh, guys, you know where to find me. Um, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Oh, by the way, hit me up on the brand new website, comedahoboentertainment.com. So this is going to have an archive of videos. It's going to have all sorts of stuff. But most importantly, it's going to have behind the scenes blog posts on game development. Because I, some of you guys might know, I do dabble in game dev. But now, 2019, I'm hitting it hard. I'm taking it more serious. I'm working on a first-person shooter right now. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's just our secret right here. Working on a first-person shooter. Going to try to get it out the door in the next few months. Free of charge for you guys to play. Probably just going to be Windows only on this one just to get my feet wet. But free of charge. You guys will play it. Let me know what you think. Comedahoboentertainment.com. Go there now. Has archives, all sorts of stuff. Big things happening over there. Um, a lot of fun, but big, huge shout out. Most importantly, last, but certainly not least, big shout out to Video Games Monthly. I love this service. I love it. I've been uh, subscribed to it for over a year. They've been fantastic. Um, they've been on point. Uh, they have great customer service, good Facebook group, like the whole shebang. They got it where it counts, you know? And I mean, I might be shilling for them right now. Who cares? sick like i'm gonna hang this up really honored that i got the partner pack this this time guys for real and awesome stuff i mean they send it to your door you don't even have to go shop for it i don't have to go hunt around for this for this sealed good luck finding this sealed you know what i'm saying like unbelievable they send it to you so cool but anyways you know where to find me that's my time i gotta go back to making games and playing games and living games oh so good anyways that's it you guys take care. We will see you in February, the Valentine's box. Ooh, big hearts. I'm going to get a big heart shirt or something for it. Who knows? But yeah, fanciness. Stay in fancy. Have a fancy 2019. Stay, stay gorgeous. Stay beautiful. You know who you are. I'm talking to you. That's right. You stay beautiful. Peace.